What's up guys and girls, it is your boy The Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. And today guys, I wanted to come on, hop on, do a quick first impressions video of a rod that I kind of had a little bit to do with, uh, just essentially because I met these guys at ICAST back in 2021 and I got to talking in their head about BFS. I really pushed them, I said, y'all need to hop in the BFS game. You guys are perfect for it. I think that there's a lot of potential and literally it was just ironic because essentially the morning before ICAST, the morning, the morning of the day before ICAST, I went out and I slayed crappy on a small rod with a BFS reel. It was actually my Daiwa Elephas Air. This reel right here slayed a bunch of crappy on a brush pile. And the next day I ran into these guys over at Janko Fishing and I said, y'all need to get on this. You guys are the crappy guys. You guys need to get on top of this. Now I have a couple of uh, people that I really get to know. I know you're a tackle. I know Janko. Both those guys are huge in the crappy game. And I believe that there's a huge market to be had, especially when in terms of BFS, because a lot of crappy fishermen like to have accurate casting around ducks. A lot of uh, crappy fishermen like to fish on the banks. They want to get some good distance. They want to target cast. So BFS is probably gotten a hold in America because of target casting. And that's the whole point of BFS is to cast more accurately and cast more accordingly to than you would with a spinning setup. So with no further me talking about it, this is the Janko fishing double down rod right here. This is this new, the newest BFS rod to the American side of the industry of BFS. And this rod is a 6.6 length rod. It is an ultra light power probably. There's no power identification on here, it just says ML. I doubt that means actually medium light because the weight range on this rod, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it is 1 80th ounce and up to 1 8th of an ounce. I said that right, 1 80th of an ounce. So if you guys like to throw these guys from Mule, which I will leave a link to everything guys down below so that you guys can go pick this exact combo up today whenever you want to. Now, this is a rod that I've been super happy to give them advice on some other rods in the market that I think are really good. And I told them one thing is, is you're going to have to have this rod be a little bit cheaper than the competition. And they did do that. And they also did that while keeping the quality up to par with brands like Dobbins and Cashin and uh, Old 18 that are all BFS rod companies in the American industry right now. They have a more price friendly rod than any other rod company I can think of at this current moment. This rod is only $140. You get essentially a wind light grip here, full grip, which I love the full grip. I actually got to fish with this some today. Obviously you guys know that my GoPro got stolen, so I could not do a video of me casting it for the first time, but I will be getting a new GoPro soon to actually show you guys the casting distance and the performance with this rod. But essentially this is supposed to be a first impressions video. I'll be doing a best entry level combo video very soon next week with the reel that I have on here, which if you guys want to go pick this reel up, it is a $95 reel. You can pick it up at Bait Finesse Empire. You can pick up this whole combo at Bait Finesse Empire. This rod's 140, this reel's 96. And I think that this combo, if you guys are wanting to get into bass BFS or panfish BFS, I think that this rod is the perfect rod for you. If you like to do white bass, if you like to do perch fishing, if you like to do crappy fishing, if you like to do bluegill fishing, if you like to do any type of fishing, this is the combo for you guys. This Janko rod, I love the action on it. It's a moderate fast and it bends very well down the rod. And the thing is with finesse and BFS is you need to have a good bend to your rod to keep those fish pinned. So if you're throwing small jigs and stuff like that, often they can shake off, but that's whenever your rod sometimes may be too fast, maybe too slow. It can change depending on what you need. And this rod I think is going to be super ideal. Say if you also want to switch to a treble hook bait, like a, a spy bait from Janko <laughs> named the Shinobi Shad, you can do that on this rod. I think that there's so many different versatility options with this rod that I think people need to hop onto. This rod is gonna really, really, really do some great things with the market because there's some other rods that they're also working on to give variations to this rod. So I've been told, uh, this is just whispers, you, you guys don't know about this, but there might be a glass uh, version in the future. So if you guys stay tuned to that, you can get a glass version of this rod, maybe for also crappy fishing or possibly trout fishing. You guys stay tuned for that, but this is the Janko Fishing Double Down. It is a 6.6, again, 1 80th of an ounce to an eighth. I have not tested that weight, weight, weight range, rate, <laughs> sorry, 
weight range yet, but I'm going to very soon once I get the GoPro to do so. This is a great little combo. And if you guys are looking to get introduced to BFS with something that's not too far the price range, with something that's in America, if you want to buy from an American company, not overseas, this is the rod for you. This is the rod that's gonna get it done for you. Now for the reel, you can order the reel overseas, yes, but I would tell you order it from Bait Finesse Empire because they can get it to you within a week to two weeks. It's gonna be a lot faster than places like AliExpress. This rod, you don't have to go on AliExpress. If you don't trust AliExpress, you can do it with this rod. And a lot of people in the BFS game will tell you to go on AliExpress or order off Digitaka. There's nothing wrong with Digitaka, but if you can go pick up a rod and reel at Bait, Bait Finesse Empire and get all the stuff you need to start doing BFS today, this is the combo I'm going to recommend to you. This combo, I think is gonna be awesome, especially because it changes things for the BFS industry. I think that this challenges the BFS industry to start lowering their prices. I think that's the issue with the American side of the BFS industry, that things are a little too expensive in my opinion. This reel is gonna be great to pair with this if you're wanting to get a new rod into BFS, but if you're somebody who likes to go high end, I tried, I fished with this reel today. This is a uh, Daiwa Alphys Air. It casts a lot lighter just because obviously when this reel's like $300 and this reel's $100, you're gonna have a little bit of a difference, but this is four pound mono. I've got 0.6 go braid, which is equivalent to about, I wanna say eight pound braid. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but this is the Verivas all-purpose braid. So if you guys wanna check that out, also at Bait Finance Empire, but this is the new Jenko Double Down. I think I'm done talking about it, guys, because I wanted this video to be short. It was an announcement video. If you guys wanna go pick up this rod right now, today, go click the link down below. You can go pick it up at Bait Finesse Empire. And if you wanna pick up a reel to go along with it, this is the Surinoya Dark Wolf Ultra. I'll include a link to that down in the description. I'll include two types of line, braid and monofilament. If you guys wanna check, check out either one of those two from Bait Finesse Empire. And I'll also include a link to Mule's website to pick up any baits that you want for bluegill or crappy fishing. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this rod in the industry. And I hope to see you fishing with it out on the water soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, remember, fish with me.